But look, back in um, la October um, 2007, I was asked by my research committee to put together a show and symposium about animals. So my remit as an artist and someone who works with animals or, or, or the concern of animals um, was to put together sort of a show that not only would be challenging um, conceptually and intellectually, but also ask questions because it's in, within a university setting, ask questions of the students and the audience who actually look at the show. So I went about researching this show by having an open submission with a very particular sort of set of criteria of who was going to be in the show. I didn't want any bad taxidermy. I didn't want any kind of um, old mythologies going on. I didn't want anyone dressing up in animal head gear and running around naked. It, it, so I didn't want any cliches. I wanted sort of the, the work that to be selected to be of a standard that actually would be challenging, um, often disturbing as well, because sort of working with animals isn't cute little puppies. It's actually should be something that we actually ask questions of ourselves. It sees you know, we are animals ourselves. So that was part of why we set about doing this show. And also, I wanted the show to in a university setting so that um, students could actually wander around from site to site seeing works that which they don't normally see and they don't normally see such a collection of artists who use film so what I did actually find at the end is in amongst sort of uh, artists who make performances wearing animals heads naked rolling around actually what I did find was some really exciting film very exciting photography and uh, not uh, no paintings as such or very few sculptures as well so it really came from a f uh, sort of photography background film background that was much more sort of conceptual in its thinking and, and push the boundaries a bit further so that's that's how it came about and also it came about as well sort of uh, you know eight years on from Steve Baker's book Postmodern Animal which was a, a really important book for making us think about sort of postmodernism and how animals function within that so that's the start of it so what we did is just open it up to 40 at the end we had 40 artists um, who were involved in this and some of those artists I actually asked to be part of the symposium which we ran for two days which was fantastic we had speakers like sort of Steve Baker uh, David Wood, Matthew uh, Poole, um, all talking about from animal ethics to reconstruction of Smithson's uh, journeys uh, uh, within the Yucatan and it just it also allowed artists to be there asking questions and students to be there as well as delegates and the speakers in a, and, and having the exhibition as part of that when the symposium's going on just made the real kind of sense complete. It really asked questions philosophically at, at the symposium and also practice-led work from the exhibition. So, and I think it has asked questions. It's actually, it's really interesting walking around the university and having students coming up wanting to talk about work, having tutorials with students while we're showing the films of works. And so it's been a real learning tool for everyone. And having staff saying they're bringing down their time-based students to look at the films, staff from photography bringing their photography students down. Sort of, so it's been a real fantastic sort of learning experience for everyone. So that's why we put together the Animal Gaze Show.